Not even the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. All right, welcome back to another episode of Friday's Feast. I'm your host, Big Mike, and today we're out at DP Doe out in Cortland, New York. We're about to go inside. They're supposed to be known for their cow zones, so we're going to go inside and see how good they are. All right, so our food just got here. So I ordered a order of uh, garlic parmesan wings. These smell amazing. And um, yeah, I decided to come out for dinner tonight because my fridge, I, I, I'm not even gonna blame it on the fridge. I just think I took way too long to uh, make the meat that I had in my, um, in my truck. So it is what it is. So I did order a mac and cheese buffalo calzone. So we're gonna try that today. Um, but I am most excited for the buffalo. Um, even though wings are kind of my thing, they just don't have bone-in wings. Those are my preferred wings. Uh, if it's, you know, not from certain establishments that I'm not going to name. But let's give it a shot. These are oven baked. They're okay. That sauce is good though. Whatever sauce that they put on them. This is a um, really hot. Compliments about Baja Bless. So I'm gonna do a calzone cheese pull for you guys. Let's see. Let me do it this way. It's already cut on this side. So, I don't really smell any chicken yet, but all I smell is mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna let that cool down so I don't burn myself. Mm -hmm. But I did want it to pull it apart while it was still hot. The garlic parmesan is really good. Although the chicken, I wish it was like fried or maybe a little bit more well done. But that garlic parm is really good. Oh, there's some crunchies. sauce is so good. Yeah, that garlic parm is so good. I just wish the chicken was a little bit more crispier, you know. Not bad, but I wish it was like a little bit more burnt or fried.
Yeah, but from what I can see on the board, they got like eight different different sauces. Like three sauces, barbecue, hot sauce, and the garlic parmesan. I don't I don't see how the barbecue or the hot sauce would top that garlic parm. That's that's so good. So good. Maybe even on a grilled chicken. I wonder how that would be on a grilled chicken. Like a garlic parmesan crusted grilled chicken. Or grilled chicken bites. how good that is. The garlic parm is so good. I've had garlic parm before, but I don't know, maybe just tomatoes is hitting different because all the meat in my fridge spoiled, so. You gotta try it before you deny, my dudes. Smash that like button if you know where that's from. My boy Argyle. That's T4. So it's supposed to be buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Let's try it out. I got some sauce here. Move into my palate. almost tastes like the sauce that they put in the Lunchables, the pizza Lunchables. I don't know, sometimes cheap sauce is good. But, let's see how it does. I just want to try this without the sauce first. I think that might be a chunk of chicken right there. A buffalo chicken. chicken into like really really small bites mm. 
I wish it was shredded instead of cubed. That would make me feel more confident that it was like real chicken. I don't really know what to make of it. This bread has almost like no flavor. So I had a feeling that this was going to be really either a hit or a miss. Like, and to me right now, this is like a total miss. Like, it's not even. I don't know. It's not really, not really my cup of tea. That Parmesan, garlic Parmesan, was more my speed. This is like a really big hot pocket. Let me try it with the sauce. I mean, the sauce doesn't help, but it doesn't hurt either. I don't know. I was re I'm really disappointed. Cheese is like just really loose. Here's like a little spongy piece of chicken. <coughs> yeah, that's why. Just like spongy chicken. that I paid. I would have hoped for real chicken. That's chicken. Yeah. I'm 
also good on that. You guys know me, I don't really like to waste food, but that's not really, that's not really cut for me tonight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this one a wrap. I can't finish that. I feel like if I eat that, it'll just make my stomach hurt. Um, Alright, so I give this like a 1 out of 5. It's not that good. Um, I really wish it was better. Like, the, the dough has like no flavor. It was like a hot pocket. This, um, Wish the bread was either, I mean, not the bread, the chicken was either fried or baked a little longer. Um, not like crispy chicken. Or maybe, like I said, some grilled nugget bites or something. Um, but that garlic parmesan, that was so good. Really good. But yeah, it's going to wrap up tonight's episode. I really wish I, I really wish it was better. I really do. Alright, well, you guys know we show the good, the bad, and the ugly on this channel, so if you guys like what you saw here, or if you don't like what you saw here, just make sure you smash that like button to let me know that you watched it all the way through, and um, at least I'm giving you guys my honest opinion. Let me see. I paid $8 for that cow zone. Um, and I paid eight dollars. I paid seven ninety nine for the cow zone, seven ninety five for a half a pound of the garlic parm, and two twenty five for this. So altogether under twenty bucks. But in my opinion, that that cow zone definitely isn't worth the eight dollars. I should have went to a regular pizzeria if I wanted a cow zone, but they they were they were recommended for their cow zone. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see if we can go to another place tonight. If not, then I, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. But I appreciate you guys watching. Try before you deny my dudes. And uh, I tried it, and I'm denying it. So, see you guys on the next one. Later.